channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a closet tour so if you guys want to see it then keep watching okay you guys this is the door where you enter the closet so nothing crazy just a door and then over here to the right of the door i have this mirror so this mirror is from like home goods or marshall or something like that it is just a leaning mirror they usually always have like mirrors like this if you go to home goods i got mine a while ago but like i said they always have different mirrors so that's where i got this one and then the picture frame to the right of that as you can see it's just this girl i had this in my last apartment too um, this is also from Home Goods, so it's just super cute and it matches like the glam vibe. And then right here I have this little stool just because some of my purses are kind of high and I can't reach them. So that's what that is. Now moving on over here, this is like my black shoe section. So up here I just have my black Balenciaga sneakers, my Chanel sneakers, some black heels. And then down here I have my black boot heels. And then I have like some like more combat -y boots. These ones are the Montclair boots. And then these are some Gucci boots. They're hiking boots, I guess, but obviously I just wear them like in the winter. But these are the Montclair ones and these are what the Gucci ones look like. And then down here I have my Louis Vuitton combat boots, my Fendi winter boots. And then down here I have like my over the knee boots. And these ones are more just like dressy heel boots. So I love this section. I am obsessed with it because black is like my favorite color to wear. So this whole little section is super cute. I'm just going to do a quick overview. So that's the mirror, the picture frame, and then the shoes. Now moving on to like the closet unit part of it. I have these cabinets. They are see-through. I love that they're see-through. I feel like it makes it look more luxurious. And then the knobs also have like that see-through look as well. Now moving over here, these are all my black purses and I'm obsessed with black, so I love wearing all black. Right here I have my black on black YSL bag and then the little matching wallet. Then I have my black on black Balenciaga bag. In the back I have the black um, Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag with a little pop of color with the scarf. And then right here I have my Chanel bag with the silver hardware and then behind that I have my other YSL bag that also has silver hardware so I put the silver hardware here and then the black hardware there looks super cute and then above that I have my Louis Vuitton duffel bag this used to be my old stripper bag I honestly haven't used it in a while but I still love it and then right here I have my Louis Vuitton crossbody bag or you can either just hold it from the top handle it is so freaking cute. Then down here, I have all my black clothes hung up and organized because this is kind of like my black section. So as you can see, I just have all like my black stuff organized from like, I guess, longest to like shortest. And this is like my little black section. Okay, I'm just backing up a little bit so you guys can see it better. But yeah, I just have pretty much like all my black stuff in this corner, all my black wardrobe clothes my black purses and shoes so this is a cute little section i love it now moving away from the black stuff now we got some color going on over here so i have these three really cute shelves so we're gonna start down here with my coach bag this is the blue denim coach bag it is a crossbody bag and then i also bought the one in the same material and that's a shoulder bag they are so freaking cute and i love them i love when bags have c's on them obviously because my name is christina now moving over here to like my little perfume section. I am obsessed with perfumes when they smell great and also when they're like aesthetically cute. I also really, really love these Scentbird perfumes. If you guys have never heard of Scentbird, it's basically just a company that sends you a new perfume every single month and it's only $17 and you get to pick it yourself. They have a lot of designer brands. They have Gucci, Prada, Versace, and even some niche brands as well. I will show you guys what it looks like inside and how they work. So this is what the perfume looks like you're basically just gonna twist it and it's gonna show where you spray it from the vials are pretty big it is a 30-day supply so it's bigger than the sample size that you get from the store this first one i got is called a bite me it has a super sweet and sassy smell it smells like strawberry red apple and golden rum 
The second one that I got is called Gold. This one has a very soft smell to it. It smells like vanilla and amber. And I really like these because you do get to pick which ones you want. So you're not getting surprised every month. And a lot of these perfumes are super expensive. So you get to try it out for a month before you commit to buying it. This one is perfect for a date night. It's called Blush. It smells like raspberry, orange, and jasmine. This next one is super glamorous. I actually love this one so much. It's one of my favorite. It has red salt and it's also fruity as well. So I really like that one. This last one that I have is 100% Chilled by Juicy. This one's super warm and cozy with red berry, coconut water, and orange blossom. So yeah, you guys, I am obsessed with all of these fragrances. If you do want to try out Scentbird, I do have a code Christina V for 55% off your first month. That's literally just a little bit over $7 for your first month in the United States and Canada. So thank you Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Moving on now over here, I have my white purse. This is the Balenciaga bag. So I love this bag because it has the little heart and it says Balenciaga on it. And it's also a mirror. So that's so freaking cute. Y'all can see me recording with my phone. But it has a little mirror. And then it also has a wallet attached to it as well. So this is so freaking cute to hold change or your cards or whatever little things that you want to put inside. And you can obviously make it shorter or longer. I was wearing it short, but then I started seeing people wearing it long. And I started wearing it like that and it's super freaking cute. So that's basically this first shelf, just the coach bags, my perfumes, and then this Balenciaga bag. Now moving up above to the second shelf, right here I have my nude Chanel bag. And then I have like my gold Balenciaga bag. It does come with a strap as well, but the strap is inside of here. And then in the middle right here, I have my Rolex which I love. And then I have my silver Balenciaga bag and then my little jewelry box and then my book that Chanel sent me. So basically this second shelf here is like half gold, half silver. So it's perfect because my um, Rolex has like gold and silver in it. So I feel like, I don't know, the shelf is just such a freaking vibe. And then moving up here, this is my pink shelf. So when I'm grabbing stuff from this shelf, this is usually when I need that little like stool. But up here, I'm obsessed with the color pink as well. So I have my pink Prada fuzzy bag, my pink Christian Louboutin heels, my pink Balenciaga bag, my little pink like money, thousand, $10,000 like purse. A small business sent me that. And then this is me. It's supposed to be me on a stripper pole and it says super cute in the corner. I love it so freaking much and it just looks really really cute here so I'm like I don't know if this section is my favorite or the black section because I love pink also pink is my favorite color but black is like my favorite color to wear so this is the middle section I really really love it and it just looks like that yeah. now moving on to the drawers I don't know if you guys care what's inside my drawers but I'm gonna just show you anyways so in here, this is basically just my bras, all my sports bras, and then my chonies. Um, my thongs, honestly, I really just throw them in here because I feel like it's too much work to like organize my thongs. But like these bigger underwears, I organize just because they're really easy to organize. And I'm honestly obsessed with this kind of underwear because they're so freaking comfortable. And yeah, I just love wearing them when I'm on my period or honestly just all the time because I feel like they're really, really comfortable. But obviously every girl needs some thongs. So I have some of those as well, but I just throw them here. My sports bras, my comfortable bras, and then just my regular bras. So that's what this looks like. And then under there, my next one, I believe this is like my pajama drawer. Yeah, so in here I just have like leggings and pajamas basically. As you can see, I have like a billion pairs of black leggings because I swear to God, my go-to outfit is black leggings, a freaking black shirt from in here and then just grabbing one of my black purses. So usually if you see me, I'm wearing like a black purse, black shirt and leggings. But yeah, and then over here, I have like some other color leggings some like workout clothes. But these are pretty much just honestly all leggings. And then here are like sleeping shorts. So just pajamas and then more pajamas. These are just like big shirts that I wear to sleep. Like my Spongebob Hashling Slasher shirt. Krusty the Clown. 
like just random like shirts that I get like on vacation or something. I like to sleep in like big shirts. So it's pretty much just big shirts, workout clothes, and pajamas to be honest. So this is kind of just my leggings and pajamas drawer. It looks like this. Moving down here, this is kind of like another pajama drawer. So in here, I have a lot of sweatpants. So these are just cozy clothes, sweatpants, sweatpants, more like just lounging sleep pants. Yeah, pretty much just all like lounging stuff. This is a nightgown. These are more pajamas. This is like a onesie. So these are just like pretty much all my like comfy, cozy clothes in here. And then the very last drawer, I just have like lingerie, bathing suits, waist trainers, fajas, stuff like that. So it's not really like greatly organized. When I want to wear a bathing suit, I really just like dig through here and see what bathing suits I have. And yeah, I have some like corsets in here, fajas, like I don't know, just like random like shapewear and stuff. I kind of just throw like little things like that in here. So that's pretty much it for that now moving on over here so in this like cabinet or whatever it's called i have my nudes my pinks my grays and my whites so you can see i tried to coordinate them with the purses because i have like pink nude and like white purses there so that's what i kind of try to do over here but pretty much these are just all my like dark brown clothes to like nude like shimmery clothes and then it kind of like transitions from like nudes to creams to pinks, to grays, to whites. I have way more black clothes than anything else. So this is pretty much this section. I tried to like color coordinate it the best I could. And then moving down here, these are my colors. So I don't really have that many colors. So I kind of divided this one into like half like denim and jeans and like shorts and stuff like that and half colors. So I tried my best to make it like Roy G. Biv, you know, like the colors of the rainbow. So it went from like red, like oranges and yellows, greens and blues, and like them to violets. So that's kind of how I tried to organize it. And then over here, it's just all my jeans and then like some skirts and shorts. Nothing crazy. So that's pretty much this. Now moving over here, I have my sneakers. So up here, I just have my two Nike sneakers. Then down here, I have my pink Balenciaga sneakers, my Gucci sneakers, then my like nude sneakers. So these are my Chanel shoes, my Balenciaga shoes, and then just some like nude heels and like chanclas or sandals, my black sandals. And then these kind of just get like miscellaneous because they don't really go with anything. So yeah, towards the end, it kind of just gets like crummy, but on top it looks cute so that's like an overview this is pretty much all the actual closet unit like this is like an overview of the entire thing that's all of it so it's super cute i actually did get this at menards and i custom built it myself you have to measure your walls and then you just pretty much pick everything out and then to the right of that i have a balcony in here so this is what my balcony looks like i just have these two rods my boyfriend put them up for me so when it's like sunny out and i want to see i have this like thinner one and if and then i have this thicker one for like if i'm changing i can just put it so no one can see me okay so to the right of the balcony i just have my youtube plaques so i have my 100,000 subscriber plaque and then i have my 1 million subscriber plaque they look super cute right here in the corner in my little glam room and then to the right of that i have my closet that's inside of my closet so in here it's just these little doors it is an automatic light so as soon as you open the doors it turns on and in here i pretty much just have all my sweaters and jackets so i usually bring my coats to like the cleaners at the end of the winter so my coats are in here ready for the winter and then i just have all my sweaters and stuff color coordinated my black, my gray, my pink, my nudes, and all that. And then up here, um, I just have like miscellaneous stuff. And here I have all my socks, more miscellaneous stuff. And then up there is like my ring light when I film like my sit down videos. And yeah, and then down here, I just have like a little laundry basket in the corner. And then over here, I just have a bunch of boxes 
um, in case I ever sell anything or I'm going to get rid of any of my purses or anything. Sometimes I do sell some of my purses on my Instagram story. And when I do, I like to have the box, the receipt, the dust bag, everything that goes with the items. And then over here, I just have some extra purse like holders. If you guys are wondering, I did get all my purse holders from Amazon. So that's what those are and that's pretty much it for the closet now moving over to the right of the closet i have my vanity it is from impressions vanity this is what it looks like i will show you guys closer so up here i just have my makeup brushes my like morphe setting spray this little double-sided mirror is from this one right here it's from target and then this is the mirror that came with the vanity and it just has these lights all around it it looks so freaking cute and then it says impressions right here because it is an impressions vanity um i haven't really figured out what to put in all these drawers so a lot of them are empty the only one i have stuff in so far is the middle one i just have this like morphe eyeshadow palette and these two like lashes you guys know i'm not like that good at makeup so i don't have like a crazy amount of things so all these are empty. So if you have any ideas of stuff I can put in them to make it look cute, let me know or tag me on Instagram. But this is what it looks like. And then I just have my little candle burning. And then this vanity does adjust. So I don't know if the lighting looks weird, but you can like adjust these light bulbs or you can just turn it off completely. So this is what the vanity looks like off that's on. And then you can have it like super bright or like dim it. However you want to do it, I'll turn it off for now. The light in my glam room also dims as well. So it controls this chandelier that I have up here. And then it also controls the lights that I have inside the ceiling. So I can have them off, obviously. I can have them on super bright or I can dim them if I want them to just be like, you know, set the mood in here. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. I'll turn them up all the way. And then this vanity chair is also from Impressions Vanity. The little pillow is from Target. It's kind of big for this chair, not gonna lie, but it's still cute. So I just have this little vanity chair from Impressions Vanity and then this pillow from Target. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. It's just this vanity. I'll show you guys what I have inside. Nothing crazy. I just have my makeup. And like you guys know, I'm not like super crazy good at makeup. So this is like all the makeup I own. I don't have that much makeup. And then I have like a few like random things in here. Um, I have some random things. I just have like my Louis Vuitton wallet and gum and then like my insurance card. Just because I always change out my purses and then I always put this stuff in my purse. So I will like just grab a purse from here or wherever. And then once I decide what purse I want, then I'll throw like my wallet, my gum and stuff like that in there. And then these ones are all empty still. Like I still have to put stuff in them. Oh, and then down here, I just have this little trash can. It's pink, it says, keep it clean. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it over here. I just have my Chanel sunglasses um just scissors and a lint roller usually i have like nipple covers in here too i gotta get new ones and here i just have like my to-do list my notebooks my ipad some like chargers and stuff and then these ones are empty so yeah you guys my vanity is pretty empty and this container is from the goodwill and the little diamond or like things in them are just from amazon and yeah you guys it's pretty much my entire glam room we're back to the door I'll do like a quick overview. So we got the vanity, we got the door, we got the mirror, the little picture, my stool, black shoes, clothes. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much my vanity or my <laughs> closet room. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you again for Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, you can get 55% off with my code, Christina V. But I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.